Getting to the top of any profession takes not only skill and determination, but a few breaks along the way. Show me what a good cook you are. Tom Kitchen, Theo Randall and Michelle Rue Jr. have all been helped in their careers by someone who believed in them. I think it would be very difficult for any chef to achieve greatness without a mentor. Put it through one more time. Now, they want to give someone else that same chance. Out, 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 out. By going back to Catering College to find a young student they can each take under their wing as their own protege. It's such a grueling industry. If you want to get to the top, you need to work with the best. Look at you, you're excited. Huh? Yep. You're excited. Hallelujah. Tom, Theo and Michelle are searching for someone who they think is a worthy apprentice. Happy Chef Shona. <laughs> so. They each have a week to select and train up their strongest candidates. Mm. Two things on the go at the same time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Or even three things on the go. Multitask, come on. Before they compete against each other to see who has the best protege. This week, it's Theo Randall's search. Yesterday, he returned to his old catering college, Brooklyn's in Weybridge, to meet some of their strongest students. This is pretty much what I want to do in the future. I've got a lot of passion. Theo chose to take all three students forward. Looks delicious. 18-year-old <laughs> Alice, 20-year-old Monica, and 18-year-old David. Today, Theo's back to meet the final four students that Brooklyn's believe have the potential to be his protege. At the end, he must lose two from the running. The kind of person that I need to find is someone who really is very, very keen, who really wants to learn and let me teach them. If you can find people that have the same feeling as you do about food, that's the sort of magic you want. To get a sense of the student's enthusiasm and skill level, Theo has brought in the ingredients from his classic Italian antipasti sharing platter. It's very easy to just think, oh, it's only a vegetable, it's not important. It is so important. And that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this test. The whole preparation will be interesting, is to see what they know. The first student is 17-year-old Sally. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Sally. Hi Sally, I'm Theo. Hey. Do you want to come in? Now I, I cook Italian food yeah. and I love all things Italian. One of the most important parts of an Italian meal is the first course, which is the antipasti, which is the, the course before the pasta. Yeah. And I want you to prepare for me a dish using artichokes and Swiss chard. And then all these other ingredients, you can do what you want with them. Okay. So go for it. Mm. Cool, you've got a nice selection of knives as well. Got more knives than I've got. All my family is like, oh my god, you're such a good cook and it makes me happy. I'm actually really easy to teach because I get on with so many people. I'm just one of those happy-go-lucky people. How come you're at Cajun College? What's your passion? I just really like cooking stuff, really. I'm like, not bad at subjects, I just find this one's more creative and you can express yourself more in it. So have you, have you um, prepped hard tricks before? No. Oh, really? Okay. So, I'm, I'm guessing this is how Are you guessing it? Okay. So, I know you have to take the fluffy bit out in the middle. Well, you're doing quite a good job. So what's your favourite thing to cook? I don't know, I cook loads of random stuff. Yeah? That people wouldn't normally put together. Like kind of, uh, just experimental. Have you ever tried curry and biscuits? Curry and biscuits? Yeah! And does it taste good? Because it's a sweet, and then you've got the kind of spicy stuff. So you get your random. palate working, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, try it. It's, it is quite good. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Don't forget this fella. Do you like wrap something up in these? Oh, it could do, yeah. Like a little parcel. Yeah. Oh, I just had a brain wave. Have you done something like this at college? 
No, but I do like stuffed cabbage leaves at home. Yeah. What do you put in your stuffed cabbage leaves? Anything that's in the cupboard. <laughs> Just really random stuff. Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't put biscuits in. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm done. That's, that's really good. <laughs> you pleased with that? Yeah, I think so. You presented it nicely. I mean, it's colourful and it, it looks very fresh. I haven't tasted it yet. You're still standing, it's all good. <laughs> We've got that seasoning of the anchovy and the capers and the mozzarella. And with that chard, it kind of works quite well. You are experimental, but I think your experiment has almost paid off. Ooh. I'm impressed. Yay. <laughs> she's quite a character. Whether she's got the cooking skills, I don't know. I feel quite good. Obviously, I didn't know what I was doing, and I still made a plate of food, so I'm happy. Yeah. 17-year-old Haley from Staines is in her second year of college. Hello. Hello. I'm Theo. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Haley. Haley. Hi, Haley. Come in. Nice and relaxed. Yeah. Sort ish. of. <laughs> So, what experience did you have? Um, not a lot. I've um, done a bit in a hotel. Okay. Cooking-wise, once I have much experience at all. Look at the vegetables. I mean, have you cooked artichokes before? No. Have you never prepared an artichoke? No. Have you eaten an artichoke? No. This doesn't stand me in good stead, does it? <laughs> no, you're, you're right. And then, and Swiss chard? No. Do you know, you've tasted spinach? Yes. Well, think of it like spinach. So think of, imagine okay. the flavour of spinach. It's quite sort of earthy. Well, cooking, it was never going to be my career path to choose, but I had a work experience. I just fell in love with it, and I knew in my heart that it was the one thing that I wanted to do. What are you thinking you're going to do? Okay. I think, you know, you've got someone who's maybe a little bit timid or a bit anxious or nervous. If you can get that away, you can find out what's really inside that person, and sometimes you can find magic. What would you do with the leaves? I'm not 100% sure. Would you cook the leaves pull that, or would pull you that, take pull them off? That's it. Now do that to the rest of the artichoke. What it's you want to find is that lovely tender bit in the middle. Oh, yeah, see, because these are going you softer see? as you yeah, pull them look off. Look at the colour of it. Having a mentor is like really important. I think it's a crucial thing, especially when you're still learning. So, how are you going to cook that? I'd probably just put that in water, would you? So You've got some it boiling up. water there. Let's get a bit of speed here, because I need to see how good you are under pressure. Remember you've got your artichoke, and there's nothing on the artichoke. Yeah. But if you had a lovely mixed leaf salad, what would you have with it? Like salt and pepper and herbs, probably. And what else do you put on the salad? Dressing. That's it. Sorry, I'm going way low. I've got it It's off. OK, though. The most important thing is that you're, you're thinking about what you're cooking. Yeah. I'm trying to coax it out of you. Let's see what I've there. Okay. I did give you some ideas, but yeah. the good thing was you actually responded to them. You know, what you've produced, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. I think you came in here not really knowing any of the ingredients. Yeah, it's definitely harder coming into something you don't know. Yeah, but I'm going to test you, you see. So yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do this afternoon. There was something there, but I held a hand all the way through. I had to give so much um, effort into sort of pushing her and going in the right direction. A couple of the ingredients I'd never cooked with before, but the guidance and tips that he gives are definitely beneficial, and I got an end result on the plate eventually. So, yeah, I'm happy with how it went. Chris is also 17 and has been studying catering for a year. Hello. Evening. What's your name? Evening. I'm Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. Come in. Cheers. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm a bit out of my depth. Are I you? don't cook <laughs> Italian food much. I prefer traditional English food, so okay. you know, rack of lamb, that kind of thing. So I've trained an awful lot of people in my time and, you know, I've got to use all that experience. I need to give them confidence. It's difficult. I mean, literally, I've got novices here. 
not brimming with confidence. These are ingredients I'm not wholly familiar with. The thing about cooking is if you feel intimidated or anxious, it's not going to work. So just relax. And the most important thing is just trust your instinct when you cook. I prefer mass catering rather than little bits and pieces here and there. I prefer to go, OK, you've got 600 people to feed, here you go. And I enjoy the pressure of working for lots of numbers at once. Are you putting the peppers in with yep. the skin on? Yeah. Well, why are you leaving all the charring on? That's what my flavour is. OK. You recommend taking the skin off? Uh, I would, because um, it's not really edible because it's charred. I mean, are you actually interested in you know, learning about Italian food? I mean, it would be interesting in learning it. It's not necessarily something I'm looking for a career in, but I'd definitely be interested in learning it. I mean, the more you know, the better, right? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't look great. Nice. Um, you just got this very tough artichoke, which you boil and then you just put on a plate. I mean, there's no skill there. You made a paste, but if I hadn't stopped you, you'd have put all the charring in, and that would have been a bit of a disaster. So you, you seemed like you were a little bit nervous. Just a little. Just a little bit. Okay. I think you've just sort of had a bit of a nightmare, actually. Yeah. So Chris, I'm not going to taste this. I'm going to judge you this afternoon, and if you make the same mistakes, then yep. Adios. Fair enough. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. That was a disaster. I just felt he didn't have any interest in Italian food. There's a lot of negative there, but he's got this afternoon. Awful. Don't think it could have gone worse. I just saw what was on the table and I thought, it's Italian, I don't know what I'm doing, and my whole brain just went into shutdown. Blindly threw together a plate of not much, if I'm honest. Last one to go. 18-year-old Nathan is the oldest of today's students and works part-time catering for a motor racing team. Hello. Hi, I'm Theo. Hi. What's Nathan. 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 Come this way, Nathan. If I said to you Nantapastic, can you sort of visualise what it would look like? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Before I was a chef, I was a footballer and I got injured and I couldn't play no more. Well, I thought I was good. I think I could have made it big time. So what is it about catering college? What brought you here? What brought you to Brooklyn? I, I just picked something that was easy. Okay. So... So you think cooking's easy? No, 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 no. At the <laughs> beginning I did. At the beginning I thought it'd be easy because I could eat it. Yeah. That was my idea. I just wanted to eat and eat and eat. But you enjoy cooking? I love it, yeah. Do you? Me personally, I feel one of the luckiest guys around. At the age of 18, what we could get from this is pretty big. So Nathan, what sort of food do you like? Well, at the moment, because I've just started, I like to learn anything. So, whatever I get taught, I'll learn. Are we making our own dressing and stuff like that to go with it? Or... Well, that would be really nice. I'm going to taste this and hopefully really enjoy it. <laughs> hopefully. That's up to you. There you go. Lovely. So that's your antipasti. Yeah. You certainly don't lack confidence, which is, which is a good thing. So, um, I think I should need to try your food. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of tomato. The combination of flavours all work quite well, so what you've produced is actually a very nice plate of food. Cheers. I'll see you later on. See you later. Thank you. <sighs> Thank goodness he turned up. What made me happy about Nathan was not so much what he cooked, just his attitude and his spirit. He's got that thing you, you look for in a chef. 